Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello there. It's the start of a brand new meals vlog. This is uh, Tuesday evening. Jay got home from work, whacked up, finished off the editing on uh, the last meals vlog. Then we went to Iceland, didn't a vlog there, so I'll link both of them up there at top. <laughs> and tonight we're having a, a Tesco Kiev with oven chips, peas and sweet corn. A slice of bread and a lovely ring light. We don't need to see the ring light every time. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, we've had these before, haven't we, Jason? Um, I think so. The Tesco's Kievs, and I think our so. verdict was they were okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, so do give them a shot if you haven't. Um, and that's it, really. It's quite late. Look. It's five to nine, we never eat this late, so if you don't mind, no cutting open, no taste tests, we're just telling you, that's what we're having. Tra! <laughs> Bye, loves. Isis, in a bag, on a chair, having a whale of a time. You all right, Isis, kiddo? She's a weirdo. It's who she is and what she does. It is. So, tonight, my darlings, we're trying the vegan tortilla that you can now get from Tesco's. You can get a smaller version one in Sainsbury's, but uh, for pure mass, this is the most cost-effective one in Tesco's. Now, when we went to stay at the Clarity Retreat in Spain, uh, they have vegan tortillas sold in um, Lidl over there and uh, so it was part of breakfast every morning if you wanted it, it was a gorgeous buffet breakfast and I've basically done my Spanish chickpea stew without the potatoes yeah basically do you fancy having a try of the tortilla? Ah, I will have I mean I, I imagine it'll be pretty standard but uh, yeah it looks it looks mighty fine yeah, it does look good. I want a bit of it with that. Do. I'll try a bit. Just try a bit on its own. Mm. Oh yeah. You're good. Yeah. As ever so slightly crispy, salty exterior. Nice. And just lovely tater. <laughs> lovely. So I, I chose to pan fry it. You can do it in the microwave as well. Um, so there you go vegan tortilla from Tesco's and with it being a Spanish dish we thought I thought why not do my Spanish chickpea stew sans tatus having a look at cat hi sis Ch -ch -ch -ch. love you ah yeah. <laughs> all right dinner bye loves bye loves sorry it's Jason's lunchtime taste tests it is a possibility that this is the last frozen meal for a while in the uh, Jason lunchtime taste tests. Uh, this is the second frozen meal I think that I've had from Tesco's. Uh, the Thai inspired green vegetable curry. Uh, I think it's about nine grams of protein, 400 grams. And of course, same as the other one, one pound 60. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll do the usual stuff. And uh, I'll show you it when it's done and dusted, and we'll do a quick taste test. See what it tastes like. Looks great. Sounds great. Um, nice uh, colours on the traffic light systems. Pretty darn healthy. So, yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, this is it fresh out of the microwave. And there you see it. So, whilst that's having its one minute's cool down, something I just noticed on the back of the pack, which you may find interesting. Uh, the plant chef, Derek Sarno, is the culinary talent transforming crowd-pleasing classics into 100% plant-based dishes with big, bold flavours that pack a tasty punch. We shall be the judge. <laughs> it says, cooked broccoli florets, water chestnuts and edamame soybeans in a medium spice Thai style coconut green curry sauce with cooked long grain rice. And as we can see there, protein 8.9 grams, 
There we go. So, I'm gonna go and find a quiet little spot, fingers crossed, do a quick taste test and let you know what I think. Transition from box to plate. And here it is, smells lovely. The rice doesn't look like it's stuck together quite as much and gone like, you know, I think the word is claggy. But we'll see, let's give it the taste test. Try the rice first. It's definitely better than the last one. But then, as I said to Paul the other night, different types of rice are gonna cook differently, aren't they? And different types of rice are gonna respond differently to kind of being frozen and then reheated, I assume. Mmm, mmm. Okay, and now the uh, the vegetable curry side of things. As you saw before on the plate, I mean, it looks great. I'm interested to see what the texture of the vegetables is like in this little mix here. Mm. Still quite hot, but not, not too hot. Veggies have still got some bite to them. The edamame is lovely, and most importantly, it's got a good flavour. This is better than the other one that I had in the uh, our previous meals uh, vlog with the taste test in it. This is the defi definite better of the two at Tesco's, I believe. But. £1.60 is fantastic uh, for a frozen meal like this. Uh, no issue or worry with this at all. It's a really brilliant go-to. 11 minutes total to cook from frozen in the microwave. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. What score am I going to give it? This is getting an 8. This is getting an 8 out of 10. Um, maybe even an 8.5 because it tastes better than the last one, which I gave 7.52 if memory serves. Um, and the cost is just fantastic. It's really, really good value for money. So, as I always say, I'm going to continue to stuff this in my face. And then after today, I've got a good few days off work. So there won't be another taste test for a while unless it's a taste test somewhere else outside of my working environment. So take care of yourselves. And I will see you very soon. Hey, cockles. Thought I'd change it up instead of saying hey, loves. <laughs> um, it's Thursday evening. Yay! That means Jason's finished work now for 11 days. 10? Ten? 10 days. 10. Look at his happy, smiling face. <laughs> and uh, tonight we're having this glorious meal. Um, remember we had the uh, chicken... I want your opinion on that, so I'm glad you did that. We had the chicken and veg style pies from Tesco. Um, reviewed them on a previous uh, meals vlog, and they're very good. We're finishing them off tonight because it's a box of four with some mashed carrots, uh, with a bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of margarine in there, and uh, a little bit of chili. And the Cavallo Nero. <laughs> Is it good? It's really good. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, I have simply stir-fried with a tiny bit of oil and a tiny bit of water, uh, lemon zest, lemon juice, salt and black pepper. And I threw some peas in there at the last minute. So that's our dinner on Thursday evening. We are very much looking forward to it. And we shall see you very soon. Goodbye, my loves. Bye, loves. Ooh. What a mystery. A pizza box. Fresh pizza. What's going on? What's going on here? Bloody hell. <laughs> Good evening. It is um, Friday evening. Friday. <laughs> and we've decided to have a takeaway. So, we've got the Nan Attack from Lily's. That's in. Nan Attack. It's Nan with chips and sauces and tick of Tikka paneer. Vegan paneer, yeah. And loads of lovely sauces. Should I do a big reveal? Do it. Should I do them both at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Steady? Oh. Oh, my darlings, look. Would you look at the plethora 
of loveliness. Oh my goodness. You're already eating, aren't you? He uh, never waits chip, for me. He never waits for me. Chip stuck to the box. <laughs> That's quite gargantuan, isn't it's it? It's mahusive, yeah, we probably... And we've got a nice couple of uh, little sweets for later. They do a huge selection of beautiful sweets down there, clearly marked whether they're vegan or not. So it's dead easy to chew. Well, they had here for Choose. scale. Lilies. <laughs> you Just so you've got scale, you know. Scale. <laughs> oh, do excuse us, my loves. We've had a right day of it. So, Friday night's dinner. This fabulous, fabulous takeaway. And uh, although you won't hear this until after the fact, we're having a live mukbang tomorrow night. We are. Um, and an unboxing. Oh, there's loads coming up. Oh, it's all fun and games. But right now, this is going in my face. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday night mukbang. Look at Jason and his fancy new merch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we're having uh, the uh, our uh, baguette pizzas, kind of Greek style, with rocket and olives. And we're just about getting ready to go live. Hope we've seen you there. If we haven't, look what you missed, you daft egg. Bye, love. Hello, my loves. We had, we promised ourselves we were going to have something really healthy today after last night's mukbang in which we had the French bread pizzas. But we just fancied um, something quick. So, fish and chips it is, done in the air fryer. Them are the si that's the size. Here's my hand for perspective. Oh, in fact, I'll pick it up. Do you see? That's the fries. Fill it, in with, there are four in a box, so okay. And two of the quorn scampi. Uh, and I thought we'd, uh, we'd taste test them and uh, let you know what we think I never get involved in these test tests and normally <laughs> I always leave it to Jason but I'm like now nah, today uh, it's like it's like the person watching it is the person that's about to eat it uh. <laughs> how is it it's not bad it's like a lot of the other fish alternatives it's got a good uh, texture and a good crisp to the batter. And once we've put our lovely homemade tart sauce on it, it'd be great. You see? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see it? Can you see it? Of course they can. Mmm, <sighs> not bad. As with all things a fish like, it's what you put with it. You know mm. what I mean? You know what? Well, that's not bad at all. No, I know. Mm -hmm. What about the scampi? I'm going to have just a little, just a little bite. Oh. Oh, that's very clear. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I want to smother everything in tartar sauce now. Fries, you can't really go far wrong. No, can they're you? great, aren't they? Mm -hmm. uh, that, by the way, is vegan mayo, a bit of English mustard, uh, chopped gherkin, some caper berries, a bit of lime juice, and a bit of dried dill. I do it different all the, all the time, but it's a good sauce. Anyway, there you go. Fishless fish, chips, and uh, the TVGP medley. And if you don't know what that is, you don't watch enough of our vlogs. Watch more, Beryl. Bye, loves. Well, hello, my loves. <laughs> we did warn you this was going to be a long meals vlog, didn't we? I think we've got seven evening meals in this one, Jason, because we've been busy doing other stuff. Lovely, Jason. What, we eat in a week? You went kind of is, isn't it? It's at least evening meals in a week. Yeah. So, um, a couple of days ago, I cooked up 500 grams of dried chickpeas in the Instant Pot. And that's what we had when uh, the other night when you saw us having the tortilla and the Spanish stew without potato. That's uh, those chickpeas. I've also made a huge batch of hummus, um, orange pepper and red chilli hummus. We've done some oven roasted tomatoes that we found in Sainsbury's today, yellow stickered. And they just looked like small heritage tomatoes. We were like, yeah, we're having that. 
Uh, so hummus on one baked potato, grated via life mature mixed with a bit of mayo and a bit of chopped red onion on the other, roasted tomatoes and appreciated salad with Pizza Express house light dressing on it. It looks bloody good, doesn't it, Bromus? Mm, can't wait. And we're going to shove it in his faces. Without a doubt. Hang on, is this the last meal of this vlog? I, actually, I don't know. Is what? this the seventh meal? What day is it? It's Monday, it's bank holiday Monday. Yeah, this is t- this is Tuesday's vlog. Tuesday's meal vlog. There you go. Hey, I'm glad I remembered. Just so I can say I'm going to shove this in my face. There's my body husband. And... Bye, loves! See you on the next one.